In this demo setting, I will be using different windows to show the max scale and database servers. Going top to bottom and from left to right, we have on the top left corner, the max scale server. To the right, the max scale list servers command executed every second. In this output, we can see a master and two replicas running. Note that the global transaction ID or GTID column is blank, meaning no transactions have been replicated. At the bottom, we have three database servers, the master server on the left and the two replicas on the right. All three servers are executing the command line interface. First step is to test replication is working properly. To do that, let's map the IP addresses of each database servers to the row. We can see the database server IP addresses match the output of the list servers command. Now, let's display the list of databases on each server. All of them have the same databases. On the master, let's create a new database called TrashMe. The database was created successfully. So let's validate it was replicated. And yes, we can see the replication was successful. Note that the global transaction ID has changed for all the servers. Now, let's walk through some of the key configuration settings in the max scale configuration file. All the servers involved in the topology are entered in the server definition section. Note that you don't need to define the role of the database server. Max scale infers it from the database server configuration. Use the monitor section to configure the servers to be monitored. Next section is the services configuration section. In here, the routing configuration is defined. In this case, the read-write split router. Finally, the listener section defines the different ports max scale is using for listening to client applications. Let's restart the max scale server now. Once the server is running again, you can list all the servers configured using the list services command. From the output, we can see the read write split router is now running. To test how failover works, I am using a simple shell script to simulate the workload. The first part of the script connects to the max scale server and creates a simple table, T1, with one integer column. Below that, there is an insert and a select statement. As these statements are not executed inside a transaction, from the load balancer point of view, the select statement can be routed to any replica. The problem with this is that if the value that was inserted on the master has not yet replicated to the server where the statement is being performed, it can appear as if the value we just inserted is not there. Since cost of read and transaction replay are not set in max scale, the output of the script will show this problem by displaying a found and not found message. That will be fixed later in the demo. For now, let's run the script. Reads are coming from server 2. Also note how the global transaction ID is changing as replicas get synchronized. If at this point the master is stopped, MaxScale will promote one of the replicas to take the master role automatically. I'm restarting the server now. Once it becomes operational, it rejoins as a new replica. Unfortunately, our application was terminated. To avoid this behavior, we need to modify a couple of parameters in the max scale configuration, namely causal reads and transaction replay. Let's edit the file and configure those settings and restart the max scale server. Now I'm going to uncomment those two parameters.
save the file and restart the max scale server. Let's relaunch our application now. We can see the behavior has changed and all resucceed. Furthermore, stopping the database server will cause a replica to be promoted to master and the client application will continue to work as if nothing had happened. As you can see, MaxScale can help you minimize downtime or handle disastrous and unwanted events. In closing, this short video demonstrated how MaxScale can be used to provide an easy and manageable solution for automatic failover and high availability. I hope this demonstration has been helpful, and check out other short videos about MaxScale features.